for cheap and instant GTA 5 money, click the link in the description. What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the police uniform in GTA Online and this is working after all the latest updates and patches. This glitch is super super easy and it works across all platforms as well including the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC. So to start things off, what you first of all want to do is be in an online free mode session, then you want to press start, go across to online, go down to jobs, play job, rockstar created, then go down to verses and find the mission named truck off. This should be available to everyone from rank 16, so go ahead and load it up and once you're inside the job menu, just go ahead and invite a friend in. Now if you don't have a friend to do this with, do not worry, just go ahead and leave a comment on this video right now and say something along the lines of, I need someone to do this with, make sure you include your gamer tag and which platform you're on, so other players who also don't have someone to do this with can add you and then you can do this together. But once you have at least one other friend in the menu with you, what you want to do is make sure clothing is set to classic. As for the other options, you can change those to however you want them, it doesn't really matter what they're set to, but once you've made sure the clothing is set to classic, go ahead and confirm the settings and hit play. Then in the next menu, you want to scroll down to versus outfits and scroll across until you come across the justice option. This of course will then place the police uniform on your character and once it's selected, just go ahead and hit ready to play. And then once the job loads up and you spawn in, don't go anywhere, just stay where you are and what you want to do is open up the interactive menu then go down to style and then scroll down and find the option helmet visor. And what you want to do then is hold down right on the D-pad if you're using a controller or if you're playing on PC with mouse and keyboard, hold down the right arrow key and just hold it down for around about 15 to 20 seconds or so before you let go. Now what it lands on or is set to doesn't really matter. For me, it was set to visor down, but as far as I'm aware of, it doesn't make any difference to this glitch whether you land your scroll on visor up or visor down. Simply what you want to do once you've stopped is don't press anything. Don't move, just make sure you stay as still as possible so your character begins to go inactive and you get kicked from the game. This should take around about two minutes or so because in missions it's a lot faster than if you're playing in free mode. In free mode I think it's around about 15 minutes or so but in missions it's two minutes. So just stand still, don't press anything and just wait until you're kicked from the game. And of course once you are after about two minutes or so an alert message will appear on the screen saying that you've been kicked from the session for being idle for too long. Return back to GTA Online, of course continue as quickly as possible and once you spawn back in free mode you're now going to be wearing the police uniform from the previous job. And there we go, it is as simple as that. It will take you no more than about two to three minutes or so to perform this and you'll now have yourself the police uniform. You can of course now drive down to the local clothing store or your apartment where you can then save this outfit to your saved outfits menu. Now one massive recommendation which I do have, although I did it in the video, do not save it police outfit or police uniform or anything along those lines. Give it a completely random name because every now and again outfits get removed and it's because Rockstar performs an automatic sweep searching for names like police uniform and stuff like that and those outfits do get removed almost instantly. Very, very recently, I lost all my outfits, including the police uniform, the trash man outfit, some of the glitched outfits I had as well. So make sure, guys, you name it something completely random so that doesn't happen to you. But there we go, guys. This really is a very simple glitch, which should work for you pretty much every single time on all platforms. But if you do find when you go back into free mode that you're not wearing the outfit which you wanted, do not worry, just go ahead and do this again and make sure you follow all the steps correctly. You haven't got to rush them, just make sure you do them correctly and they should work for you every time you try it. And by the way, this glitch will work with any outfit you want, just use the exact same method, load up a job or a mission wearing the outfit which you want. So for example, the trash man outfit, maybe a heist outfit, the beast outfit, anything along those lines, make sure you're wearing it, do the glitch the exact same way and when you get kicked from the session and you load back into free mode, you should be wearing it. 
So there we go guys, that's it for this glitch. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you guys find this useful. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about this glitch and let me know what outfits you guys get when using this method. It would also be greatly appreciated if you could also take a few seconds out of your day to drop a like on this video as it helps me out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.